Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, well, let's talk a little bit about um, a question I get regularly from users, and I've got it twice today, actually, talking about security vulnerabilities. And it has to do with the fact that we have different uh, styles and different types of flaws when there are security flaws in Windows. And we often talk about the ones that are like zero day remote um, code execution. These are really big because that means just using the perfect uh, malformed code on the internet is enough to take control of a machine. Um, a lot of you have been asking me about the ones that um, I mention regularly and one of them that I just talked about, which is the printer vulnerability uh, for HP Samsung Xerox. It actually requires somebody to be at the computer to exploit this flaw. And so a lot of you have been saying, well, you know, so I mean, it, you really need to have somebody at the computer. Now, figure this, okay? Yes, in a perfectly patched Windows system. So if you went to, you know, your Windows updates and you made sure that you're updated, Technically, yes, only people that are at your computer will be able to exploit this. But there are exceptions to the rule, as always. One of them, say you download malware. You clicked on something you shouldn't have had. Maybe it's an attachment in an email. That malware opens the door to control. Often, and this has been seen so many times, I've seen it, um, I don't know how many times when I went to actually fix computers that had viruses and malware. What happens is that flaw that was created will search for other flaws that exist and exploit them. Remember that if somebody gets into your computer through something you did, because most of the time it's something you did, or because it's unpatched, that um, hacker now is part of your computer. It's as if he was in front of the computer. So that means you get malware. It gets into your PC. It opens the door to control. And that also means it opens the door for using all the different vulnerabilities. So you would, in effect, be able to uh, change um, you know, from a regular user to an administrator and stuff like that due to the fact of all these different flaws that exist. Remember that any malware that is on your PC makes your PC open to those hackers that are anywhere in the world. That means your computer is not just your computer now. It's as if there are tons of people around you in the same room that are able to use your computer. So that's why even a flaw, even something that we talk about that is, you know, local account or local access, that means you need to be at the computer, is still important to fix. It's still important because in the possibility that you would get hit by malware because of some thing that happened, then all of these flaws become exploitable suddenly. Suddenly, your computer, everything that is, um, you know, not possible to exploit from the Internet becomes exploitable from the Internet because they have full control of the computer. Uh, that's something that a lot of people don't think of. It's like, you know, a two-hit punch if you want. It's uh, something that I've seen so many times over the years when I was fixing computers. Malware that installs and that also uses other flaws to download packages and make sure that your computer is infected like crazy, making it almost impossible to, uh, to, to, you know, really delete any malware. The best thing to do at that time is to completely, you know, restart from scratch, reinstall Windows. It's the only way that you really know that you're safe. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.